in anything we do. So I was, I'm very glad that Harry picked this topic today. He shared with us a lot of methods and a lot of attitudes when it comes to time control. And today, as you can see, I really love the good points Harry pointed out, such as God's 24 hour isn't only really 24 hours for every one of us. It's how wisely you can use time. And that is from the observation of his own life. And then, like, good exercise habits will give you a clear mind. And this is Harry's self-experience. So you can see, Harry, the material of Harry's speech today comes from the same life, comes from the things he does every day. And that is very important because when you are standing up on this stage, we are trying to convince everyone. So what else can convince others better than your self-experience? So good job, Harry. I really enjoyed this part in your speech. And then, a very, very important idea he gave out today. Once you get started, you will keep going. Did everyone still remember what examples gave us? It was baseball, right? We saw the runner going from the first place to the third place, and then home run. So what counts? Nothing counts until you make it to the home place. And that was a very important idea Harry told us today. Besides the good points pointed out today, I really have to comment on Harry's hard work. As you can see, the material of his speech came from a bunch of, of places. And you can see how hard working he was. Although he forgot his scripts a little, but that's okay. This only tells us that next time you need to practice more. And then you can do better and better. So today, Harry and his speech, he gave us three attitudes and two methods on time control. And as he's evaluated now, I will also give him some advice on attitudes and methods when you are delivering a speech. First, attitude. What is the most important attitude when you are standing up here on stage? I would say confidence. You have to convince your audience with confidence. So next time I'll see your confidence, Harry. And then method. Next time, Harry, remember to play more with PPT than PPT. Okay? Play more with PowerPoint than PPT. Yeah. Because as you can see PowerPoint today, you have to always make your visual aid consistent. Today, when you are giving a concept, remember every concept in your speech has to have one slide. Don't stay on the last concept you are talking about when you are already mentioning the next. Okay. And then, display a visual aid just before you are going to talk about it. Don't put it out before you are talking about it. People will know what you are going to say next. And I really loved your quote today. Once you started, you keep going. So keep going, Harry. And now, Jesse, and you still have two speeches. And I'm looking forward to it. Back to general value.